My friends, it's time to talk how much inside out is okay. I, um, I really want you to exaggerate the feeling of inside and out. Um, when I do that in practice, I'm between 10, 12 degrees from the inside. Playing on the golf course right here, if I hit this ball, I'd probably be around six. How much is six degrees from the inside? Is it much? Or is it just okay? If you are a PGA professional on the PGA Tour, let's say a top 100 in the world, you practice 10 hours a day, I'm sure this is not for you. But for the normal golfer, it's, it's kind of hard to feel how much it is too much. Um, it's a good day for everyone who wants to hit a draw. Just two days ago, uh, Sander Shoffley uh, won the British Open and I have never seen him hit a fade really, straight maybe, but it's a good drawer of the golf ball. So it's fun. Um, I want you to exaggerate to learn and also exaggerate to feel. I can't say that I can feel one degree. I can feel probably five, six degrees difference. So I can feel the difference between straight and my six degrees out. So how much is really six degrees? Okay, I'm telling you in many videos that I try to exaggerate. I really try to hit 45 degrees. How do I know actually that that is 45? 90 degrees is 15 minutes on a clock. That's 90 degrees. So that's a little bit too much. Half of that is 45. That's about half. So that's what I'm trying to do. And I, I get not many anymore, but some comments every year that six degrees is too much. So how much is six degrees inside and out? Okay. If 15 minutes on a clock is 90 degrees, seven and a half minutes are 45 degrees. How much is one minute? How many degrees are one minute on a normal clock? It is six. So what I'm trying to teach you is to exaggerate until you get one minute. I think that's about one minute. Too much, you think? I think it looks silly. It's nothing. That's what I'm, I'm getting. I'm trying to really exaggerate swinging out and I'm getting this. I must be stupid. But if you, if you follow the videos, it's, it's all about understanding that I'm trying to get to 45 degrees and then I turn and it turns into almost nothing. So how we rotate, how we move, it's not helping us to hit from the inside. It's making it hard to swing from the inside. But I need you to understand, if you're extremely sensitive and you practice hours every day, you can probably feel, I mean, feeling one degree, that's one sixth of a minute. I mean, I can't see one degree. I, can't, I can hardly make it one degree. Maybe, maybe, maybe that one degree. For me, it looks straight. And it feels straight. So I will keep trying to hit it. My 45. And I want you to. I want you to keep that feeling of 45 because we need to. I try again 45 and I turn and I hardly get anything. Hitting this ball. I'm still going to try to swing that way and then I turn to the target and I get my 
one minute. Come on, fly. Ah, it's a little short. I can see that the divot is maybe like that. It's almost straight. Yes, it is. So that might be my six degrees. Again, if you're someone that is elite golfer, you practice hours every day, you can probably feel one degree, but I can't. I practice every day, but I need more. I need a bigger difference between inside and out, straight and outside and in. I need my six degrees to feel the difference. Because if I can't feel the difference, I will never learn. I promise you hitting a draw, maybe a five, 10 yard draw, it's going to be fine. It works for me and I hope it works for you. But I just wanted to tell you that six degrees is only one minute. So from now on, I want you to swing one minute out. But I want you to think seven and a half minutes out. Good luck.